Welcome to this series of bite-sized training videos from Wellington. This video will be focusing on how to progress a project through the different stages of the project lifecycle via the governance workflow in Project Online. Some things to consider when using a governance workflow are that a project must complete the necessary processes and documentation before proceeding to the next stage of the project lifecycle. The workflow in Project Online comprises a number of project detailed pages used to capture information about the project as it progresses through the lifecycle. And that some of the project detail pages may only become visible when a project reaches a particular stage in the workflow. To demonstrate how workflow works in Project Online, I'm going to begin by creating a new project. So from the Project Centre, I go up to the Projects ribbon and click on New. And then I choose from the Enterprise Project Types listed. I'm going to call this Workflow Demonstration Project. And I then need to complete some initial project details. Once I've completed what I can at this stage, I then need to click Finish. And now the project has been created in the system. This is the workflow status page. You can see that the newly created project is in the first stage of the workflow. It's in the proposal stage. From this page, we can also see the sections to be completed. This area provides a list of the project detail pages to be completed in the current phase. It also confirms which project detail pages do and do not contain required or mandatory fields. If I scroll down further, we have the All Workflow Stages section. This summary table confirms the current state of each workflow phase, whether it's in progress, complete or not started, as well as the entry and completion dates. So when the project entered a stage of the project lifecycle and when it completed it. And if I scroll back up to the top, we can also see listed on the left hand side the project detail pages available. These are essentially forms used to capture different information about the project throughout its lifecycle. Before I do anything else, I'm going to close the project, remembering to check it back in so I can demonstrate the view from the Project Centre. From here, I can see that the current view selected is Active Projects by Phase. And if I look at the list of projects, I can see that my project, Workflow Demonstration, is now listed under the Proposal group heading. So I'm going to go back into the project. So if I just click on the project name, I can see from the sections to complete table that the business case is still incomplete. So I'm going to open up this project detail page. I'm then going to click edit from the project ribbon and start populating the rest of the fields. Note that anything mandatory is marked with an asterisk. I can see that benefits is mandatory but I'm going to leave this empty on purpose just to highlight what happens if we don't complete all the required fields. Now the business case is complete, I'm ready to submit my project to the next stage of the lifecycle. So I go up to the project ribbon. I first need to save and wait for my project to finish saving. And then in the workflow section, I'm going to click submit. One thing to remember here is that in order to submit a project, you must first be in edit mode. If not, you'll see that the submit button is greyed out. Now you can see a warning message has appeared. This is telling me that there are required fields that have not been completed. In this case, it's referring to the benefits field in the business case project detail page. So I click OK and return to the business case. I'm going to complete the benefits field and then click Save. 
Project will confirm to you when the save has completed successfully. See the messages that appear in the top right hand corner. And then once saved, I'm going to return to the workflow section and click submit. You'll always get prompted by the system to confirm that you want to submit to the next stage. So if you're happy, just click yes. And again, in the top right, you should see a message that the system is processing the request. Okay, so the project has now progressed into the selection phase for steering committee review. The message I'm seeing here is that this business case is currently being reviewed by the steering committee. No action is needed from the initiator. If approved, the project will move to the detailed scope and schedule stage. If I scroll down, I can see that the workflow state is showing as completed for proposal phase, but the selection phase is marked as in progress waiting for approval. This is due to an email notification that has been triggered via the workflow. So the steering committee members will now receive an email asking them to review the submission and then either approve or reject the project to progress to the next stage of the life cycle. To demonstrate how a project gets approval, I'm going to switch users now and open up a new browser logged in as a steering committee member. As an approver, I should receive an email notification that the project has been submitted for approval and that action is needed. There will be a link in that email that I can access directly, or if I open up Project Online, I can see in the quick launch pane, there is a link called Approvals Workflow. So I'm going to click on this link. Once in the view, I can see that I have an outstanding task to review the business case for the workflow demonstration project. So I click the link, And then from here, I click Edit Item from the View ribbon at the top. Let's assume I've already gone to the project and reviewed the business case. So I can now choose to either accept or reject the request. In this case, I'm going to select Approved. I'm now going to put my other hat on and switch back to the other user. So if I open up the other browser, I'm then going to refresh the page. And now approved, I can see that the project has progressed into the planning phase, the detailed scope and the schedule stage. At this stage of the project lifecycle, there is additional information required. We can see that two new project detail pages are now available for the project manager to populate, these being project financials and project status, neither of which were visible during the earlier stages of the lifecycle. And if I scroll down to the all workflow stages section at the bottom, I can see the audit trail Project Online records. I can see which stages of the project lifecycle have been completed and when, as well as which stages are remaining. To finish, I'm going to go back up to the ribbon. I'm going to save and close the project, remembering to check it back in, and return to the Project Centre. I can see from the view here in the Project Centre that my project is now listed under the planning phase. The project manager will need to repeat the steps outlined in this video until they reach the end of the project lifecycle. So that concludes how to submit a project through a stage of the governance workflow in Project Online. Please do check out our page for more bite-sized training videos.